Hello, Mirai. It's me. I don't see a sample from either the baby or the mother. Andre said you were going back out to look for them. I know you are still deciding, but I told him you were thinking about leaving the expedition early. As soon as I have results, I'll let you know. Mirai, I think I have a location for the mother and baby. They were spotted just outside the research zone by those teenagers I was telling you about. Now, I don't have much data, but the report doesn't sound positive. I'll let Irina know as well. Hello? Is now a good time? You sound tired. Yeah, I'm a zombie. I had trouble sleeping. Did the doctor say anything other than Nana missed the window? Not really. Did you ask him the questions I sent? Didn't seem to be any point. Listen, I'm exhausted. I'll catch you later, okay? Ren, please don't worry. Ren? Okay. Same night, last dive. We're near the coastal area where Andrea and her mother were last spotted. Suit checked and rechecked. Can't risk any exposure in case the bloom hasn't completely resolved. Hard to swim after absorbing neurotoxin. Seriously. Diving now. I'm in. Mirai, are you sure you want to do this dive? I'm okay. And you're sure you want to record in our streaming format? Yes. Ready? Recording now. Tonight we're recording from the open ocean in the Western Pacific. For those of you who are returning, we're trying to get an updated status on the mother and baby sperm whale that we've been following on our stream. We're recording tonight's stream because we have reports that the mother whale is distressed. And we don't want to surprise viewers if these reports are true. We're discovering a whale fall in our research zone. We suspected that the whales may have been exposed to a toxic pathogen and are currently investigating. Samples from several females in the pod tested positive for a toxin that we believe resulted from exposure to a harmful algal bloom near the coastal area just outside our research zone. As I approach the whales, I'm going to turn off my mic, but keep on my video feed. Whales that we tested showed low level of this toxin, so we do not believe they will suffer from long-term effects. However, we expect that the mother whale was exposed to a higher level. It was also more vulnerable because of her pregnancy. orcas sure look like they are threatening the baby whale. Stay close to your aunties. They know the way. As far as we know, 
Those were the only two whales affected by the bloom. With all of Andrea's technology genius, he still hasn't invented a way to be in two places at the same time. Before my flight home landed, Irina and Andre had already confirmed the location of the harmful bloom. I stayed close to home with Nana until she passed the next year. Ren moved in with me to save money while she finished school, which was great. <laughs> Mostly. It was Ren's idea to keep the live stream going remotely using one of Andre's drones. But it was my fabulous idea to have Ren join the stream to choose the questions from the audience. She is definitely a hit. I can't lie. It's great to be diving again. While I was away, the baby became an auntie. still buzzes me when I play my coda sounds, so that is still a mystery. But I swear, we understand each other completely. <laughs>